Blade Smiths, welcome to the Forge. We found some springs for you guys to use to make signature blades in your signature style. Good luck. Your three hour starts now. I decided to try canister Damascus. Some people use whiteout to create kind of a wall between the canister and the inside materials, but I decided to try using a different method. Zainus actually heated up his can right away, which seems weird because isn't there going to be forge scale all inside of that? Yep. I just let it oxidize a little bit and kind of form a layer on the inside, and hopefully that will keep the insides from sticking to the canister. I'm happy with springs. I don't have to tear anything apart. I'm going with the three smaller springs because there's less to mess with and easier to fit in the can. It's important to, to be working efficiently, keep it simple. Once I get the springs cut down to size, uh, I throw them in the can, packing it full of 1095 powder. We've got Chris at the welding station. He will be the first of our smiths to be welded up and into the fire. I've made several knives out of old car springs and stuff. I don't think it's going to be all that crazy. A knife's a knife. I'm going to take the largest spring, cut it into three sections, straighten them all out, clean them up, take the other two springs, smaller springs, and wrap them around each other, and forge weld them all together around the main billet. I got my weld set on the press. Now I'm ready to draw my can out into more of a billet shape. I decide to leave my canister on and hope that the forge scale that I built up earlier is not an interference. Once I start pressing my canister, I know things are welding because once it starts consolidating, it almost hardens up. Now, Chris actually took his canister to Big Blue. My concern is he went one pass on the press and then to the hammer, and we've seen that cause cracking in billets before. Hot metal. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be nice. Here we go. It's got a snake-like coil, like a hot boa constrictor. And you can see it moving. I got all the welds starting to set. I almost one homogenous piece of steel. So now I got to turn this thing into a knife. Rocky just squinched. It's good and straight. The edge should be really hard. Go back to the grinder and get this thing cleaned up. It's up to the judges now. I got the basic shape to my blade, and I decided to grind away as much of this mild steel can to reveal the uh, pattern underneath. I have 15 minutes left on the clock. I'm ready to quench. It's fairly straight. I think it's OK. So I get my blade nice and hot, and now it is ready to be dunked in the oil. Doug, how does Zane's blade look? It's refined. Looks pretty good. My edge is hard. I don't know about the rest of my blade, but hopefully that's all it'll take for me to pass. Five, four, three, two, one. Blacesmith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. This first round of competition is over. Bladesmiths, welcome to our strength test. The oil barrel, stab, and chop to test the tip, edge, and overall construction of your weapons. I'm going to take your blades and repeatedly and mercilessly chop and beat into these oil drums. And Chris, you're up first. How you feeling? OK. All right, let's do it. We're not done yet. <laughs> Chris, everything's tight. You lost the slightest bit of your tip. And on your edge, the only thing that's missing is the etch. Very good job. Thank you. OK, Zane, after seeing that, how do you feel? A little bit nervous, but excited to see what happens. So am I. Good job, Zane. For the batoning, it was difficult because you've got a drop here. So a couple times I'd hit and glance. 
but when it went through it, punctured down, good distance. This is one of the reasons I'm wearing a glove. Blowing through that pocket, this will tear your finger up. But your tip and edge held up fine. Good job. Thank you, Judge. Rocky, how you feeling? Nervous. It's all right. I'll be calm for both of us. Rocky, your tip held up fine, and your edge held up fine. The handle, a little on the square side, and your pummel separated. That's a bit of an issue. But overall, your blade survived. Good job. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths, to find out how sharp your edges are, the leather vest, stab and slice. Chris, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, Chris, let's talk about your blade here. And it's not very sharp. When you're slashing, the sheer weight of your blade here does cut it, but doesn't lacerate it nicely. But overall, sir, for this test, it will cut. Thank you, sir. All right, Zane, you're up. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Zane, let's talk about your blade here. The grinds that you have on this edge are sharp. So it's able to cut the leather. Now stabbing, your point does penetrate deeper in all the way through there. The one issue I had here is the guard. The angle that you have of your curve there actually drives my hand to go forward as opposed to holds me back from going any deeper than that. But overall, sir, it will cut. Thank you, Doug. And then there was one. Are you ready, Rocky? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, Rocky, let's talk about your weapon right here. Your pummel was already loose before we started. It didn't get any worse. The edge, by slashing with the tip, it did cut on one side of the vest cleanly. On the other side, it just ripped it. The edges right here are not as sharp as I would have expected it to be. But overall, sir, for this test, it will cut. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths, I've finished my conference with the judges, and they agree that none of your blades are perfect. Each of them has flaws, unfortunately, Rocky. Your pummel came loose during the strength test, and let's just face it, most of your finer knives don't have any moving parts. For that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Thank you. I'm feeling a little disappointed that I represented myself well. Thank you. I've learned a lot about myself. Should have been better. That's amazing what this clock would do to you. I'm only going to stop blades whipping like it's getting too old, pick up that hammer and work with it. 